personal. Um, one of the most precious things that I own, um, well, I've got a, a few videos of my Meemaw, but one year it was her birthday and so we surprised her with a limousine oh wow and she wanted okay. to go to mcdonald's to have lunch on her birthday so we picked her up nice. with this limo and took her to the mcdonald's in our town and that's where she met her boyfriend theodore at the time um, and they wow. had lunch at mcdonald's and we've got video for like this old school camcorder that my mom had that was it was like this huge shoulder grade thing you know <laughs> all of this is living on a VHS tape. And that's the problem. That's All the problem. those great memories are still trapped on tapes. Now, yeah. we're showing VHS tapes, but it works with pretty much anything that's out there now, too. So if you're looking Wait, for... Wait, hold on. we got to back up. What you're saying, when you say it works with, this is what we're presenting. Right. This is called the Naxxon Multifunction Media Recorder. You get 20 DVDs. It's a featured price, $179.98 on Easy Pay for $36. The retail is over $201 here. So, Oscar, when you say all of those memories, like my Meemaw and the limousine ride, and what everybody at home says, yes, I've got something comparable, what do I do to get it off the VHS this tape? This is going to save all those memories. So, right now, let's say if I had an old VHS player or like a DVD player or an old camcorder, this is all you do. You put the tape in those devices mm -hmm. and you press play. And then what you do is you plug those cables and it comes with the included cables inside the box. Those cables plug right into the side right here. So it works with all the old cables and all the new cables too. So let's say if there's a video coming, I plug right into it and it shows up right on the screen. So that's my little TV screen. Notice, I don't need a computer. I don't need special software. Now that's the video I want to preserve. That's Lana actually when she was like a little girl oh, right wow. there. So, and that's with her dad. So this is the video that she wants to save onto a DVD. This is all she does. See that little button that's with the little red dot? Uh -huh. That's the record button. You press that button and now it starts recording. So now it's recording everything to the built-in DVD inside the Naxa. That's really easy. Super easy. If I wanted to, let's say, put it onto a thumb drive, yeah. I just plug the thumb drive right into the side, and now I can record the video directly onto the thumb drive. Isn't that cool? If I want to put the video onto a memory card, yes. put the memory card into the side, and it'll record to any of these devices. That are plugged in. If I want to stop and pause and like maybe put a different video, not a problem. So right now I recorded a little bit. So right now it's going to burn right onto the DVD. And then when it's done, that DVD is just going to pop out automatically. Let me show you what you get over here because I'm looking at all these cables and the whole business and I'm, I just want to make sure that you know what you're going to need at home to get this to work, what you don't need, like a PC, you don't need no that. No PC, no special fire. software. So Oscar told we got 20 DVDs coming. You get your 20 DVDs. This is the main unit. And then is this for... Th that's your cable for all your old devices out there too. So let's say if you have a, like a VCR or if you have an old camcorder, plug that cable directly into this. This also is going to be a DVD player. So when you burn your DVDs or create your media, you can plug this to any of your TVs in high definition and it plugs out and you can watch whatever's on that screen on the big screen too. Wow. So you're really, you know, when I look at this, it might not be that this is the gift. If that's what you're giving, but the true gift is the preservation and the shareability of all of these memories. That's true. And if you're looking for something that's going to be super easy to use, it's this. Because all you're doing is you're putting the DVD right. inside. You're putting the DVD inside the Naxa, and then it records and it burns it right to the DVD, or you can put it onto a thumb drive or onto a memory card. So the whole idea is this. All our memories are trapped on these old tapes. Yep. And what you want to do is you want to transfer all those great memories that are on tapes, that are on those old camcorders, that VHSC, right. even those old digital cameras that, you know, where everything is kind of trapped yep. and put everything back onto DVD. And itself. here's where a lot of my memories live are on VHS tapes. What we know to be true is the quality of what's on these tapes doesn't improve over time. True. It, it only gets, it's almost like a carbon copy, like year after year, it gets a little bit worse than it was before. I want to preserve those memories of Meemaw because she's been gone for years and I was named after her, Mary Nelson. She was an English teacher. Oh, wow. She was one heck of a lady. Well, I want, this is the best when way. I have kids someday, I want them to be able to see Meemaw. For my cousins who are here right now who loved her as much as I do, I want them to be able to reflect on those same memories. So for me, when I look at this, I love what it can do, but I also appreciate how easy it is because some years back, this is probably now 10 years ago, I asked for Christmas from my husband because I wanted to try to transfer these videos. I asked him for what was called an up converter. It was more money. 
I thought I'd be able to use it, but I got it home and it was complicated. I tried it once and never went back to the well, never transferred any of those videos. Well, it was always because it, you always needed a computer. You always yeah. needed special software. With this, you do you not. Don't. So let's say if you still have that old VCR. Well, plug in that old VCR directly right into to the Naxa and it'll start recording. And look, that, you can see everything on this screen. So that's the video I want. So I'm watching that video. Then all I do is I press the, the button and then it will actually start recording. So right now it's burning that DVD for us. So when it burns and after it's done, it'll spit out the DVD automatically because it has a built-in DVD tray. Now, if I don't want to put things onto a DVD, what I can do is I can put things onto a thumb drive. So I can just plug right into this because most of us nowadays, we want to upload things. We want to email them. We want to put them on Facebook. Right. This is probably going to be one of the easiest way to do it put it onto a thumb drive or you can even put it onto a memory card the nice thing is this this works with everything so I can plug in any of my old devices right into the side and I'll show you the ports to kind of give you an idea so this is all the older ports that are on all the older TVs mm -hmm. the older VCRs the older camcorders so it works with that it's got an HDMI because this is also a DVD player this will plug out to a big screen TV then you have your USB, so you can plug any USB devices to it. And great. even it's got a memory card reader for all your digital cameras. Yeah. So if you want to put this onto your computer or even put it onto Facebook, this is going to be one of the easiest ways so to do really it. So really the only thing you've got to, you, you need in addition to this is something from which to play the original files, whether it's video or audio or photographs, because you can get all of those files now onto whatever you choose. Right, and it's super easy because it actually shows you, do I want to record a video to a DVD? Do I want to go to a video uh, a video to a USB card or DVD to USB? It actually tells you everything. Do I want to play the, uh, the movie? All you do is just click that yeah. and that's it. So everything is a simple user interface. That's great. So if you're looking for something to re save all those memories, because yes. if you go to a location to do this, mm -hmm. they'll charge you about 15 to $20 per tape it's expensive. to bring that tape back to life. Yeah. Well, with this, you do it yourself now. You just transfer it to whatever you want, whether you want to be able to store it on the DVDs, 20 of which are included here, or do you want to take it straight to your own thumb drive or SD card? Because then you would be able to share it. Just plug that now into whatever it happens to be whether you've got like an Amazon tablet plug right. that SD card in or you've got a computer at home you can plug that thumb drive in and then you're able to save all of those videos the images the audio files whatever it is you want to preserve and then share it because that's the beauty of it could you imagine everybody's reactions when you show them what you've done like some of this stuff that we forget about over time well, until you discover it again and this is all you do you grab that DVD you put it right inside, and then once you have your video, you click record, and it puts everything right onto that DVD. This is precious. This oh. is so precious. You're saving all those great memories that were meant to be. They filmed those memories for a reason. Yep. Now you're keeping those memories alive. So if you have old videos from 30, 40 years ago, or memories that you're really trying to preserve, this is going to be one of the I best th You should have seen this limousine trying to turn around up our dirt road. Probably not happening. Oh my gosh, it was so <laughs> funny and she just loved every minute of it. Okay, we are helping you slay that list in this show. Now, some of the things that we're bringing you, like the iPad 